hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel guys you know here we talk about anything to do with migration laws immigration rules changes and anything else that makes us to go overseas especially when you are coming from africa guys uh we're rough out there we rough out there the debt for the immigration changes especially for the care workers and their dependents are out guys there's nothing we can do the debts are out the home secretary has just said it so i don't want to stress you much i just want us to go on the details of what has happened as you can see things are not on our side we need to rush we really need to rush guys those who are new on this channel with me my name is gamu Nes gamu and we talk about anything anything to do with going overseas and we talk about all the laws all the activities that happen in healthcare and also other departments that we are not in i want to read for you what the home secretary said in summary home secretary underlines commitment to cut net migration roll out of new transformative legal migration measures begins with the new restrictions set to relieve the burden on british taxpayers and public services from the 11th of march 2024 care workers will be restricted from bringing family members to the united kingdom the stress is real guys but what can we do you know sometimes you start stressing yourself over these things there are a lot of things that we need to understand about these new immigration laws in summary i don't want to spend much of your time i want to put it in summary so that you understand them simple and straightforward so i'll put them in six i'll say six rules that you need to understand six rules so number one the only people affected by this new rule is care workers and senior care workers when it comes to not being able to bring dependents anymore from spring the, of 2020. So by the 11th of March, care workers and senior care workers, anything to do with KKK, guys, dependents are no longer allowed. But, but, read my second point. But, are we together? But, but if you are doing a health and care worker visa at the moment, so far you have a visa before these rules were made, which is on the 11th of March. Before that, if you have a visa and you are doing the care worker visa thingy before the 11th of March, of March you can still be able to bring your dependents without having any issues at all are we together guys anything after the 11th of march guys let's say you get your cos after the 11th of march or on the 11th of march and after the 11th of march unfortunately you cannot bring your dependents if the sponsor which is you who are going to get the sponsorship, the one who's going to get the COS. If you get it before the 11th of March, it's nah, it's fine. You can continue with the process, do your dependence, try to apply for them and everything else. But if you get your COS, the sponsor gets his or her COS after or on the 11th of March, then unfortunately, guys, if you switched to work with a visa after the changes have been made that's our summary number three if you switch to work with a visa after the changes have been made unfortunately for you you will not be able to bring your dependents guys we have companies that had their cos is revoked and it affected most of the care workers that had already got sponsorship from those companies and they were quickly rushing to get some switches because the home office had given them 60 days 30 days to fix their issues or go back to their country so now if you get your your, your switch now you get your switch before the 11th of march you are good to go you can continue but if you get your switch after after the 11th of march you cannot bring your dependents you cannot bring your dependents so guys everyone who got a switch we had an issue with this company but got a switch later 
you can be able to those ones who got their switches before the 11th of march you are able to get a what your dependence in but if you got a switch after the 11th of march unfortunately you cannot bring your dependents in are we together companies that were sponsoring individuals that's our summary number four companies that have been sponsoring individuals but were not under cqc you can still keep sponsoring those in people you had but once the new rule comes to effect you can no longer hire new people so by the 11th of march you can no longer hire new people but those ones that you had before the 11th of march still you can continue doing the processes because we're in between the processes so just continue and then you finish up the processes with these people but those ones that will come after the 11th of march unfortunately it's a done deal for you until you get registered by cqc before i'll just say when it comes to the skilled workers salary threshold people under national pay scales are not affected for example teachers teachers are not affected in this struggle in this drama that is going on and also, anyone to do with the health and care workers, care workers, you are not affected. We are just saying the threshold will be effect on the 11th of March. Ne? The threshold of 38,700, it will be effective on the what? On the 11th of March. So you guys, on the threshold issue, you are not allowed. You are not going to be considered. That's... Uh, we are just saying that there might not be any increase for you in salaries but other ones other guys will be other departments will be in having their increase and the threshold will be effective on the 11th of march are we together so if it comes to the skilled worker visas that's summary number six that's the last one if you already held a skilled worker visa and let's say you are already in the uk as an accountant and you are applying to extend your visa even though the new changes may already be in the in effect but because you already had a visa before the changes came into effect you would not be affected by the salary threshold are we together yes so guys this is what i have for today with you as i had said today i'm just going to summarize uh, the the laws and the rules that have been initiated that are going to be initiated on the 11th of march so it's true the 11th of march is the debt and uh, we cannot run away from the fact that the laws are going to be implemented on the 11th of march and also on the 11th of april but guys let's quickly especially for those guys who are still processing their visas please do it as quickly as possible there are countries that have quick visa processes especially countries like namibia they've got quick visa processes to the to to uk and you won't be affected much just do your things quickly put your dependents in and move guys remember as we are going we'll try by all means to bring things that will make us go overseas so don't don't forget to watch, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as we move, guys, as we move as we are going.